Hello, I welcome you all to Splash Webboard. I'll be teaching you on how to create an art classified website today. An example of an art classified website is that of OLX, GG, everything, Quicker.com, and so many are. So today, look at this. This is OLS, and this is an art classified website whereby you can submit an advert. Look at some of the advertisements some people have made on this website. They want to sell cars, some want to sell phones, and some other things. This is an art classified website wristwatches, house, and if you come to everything, you can see it's also the same thing over here, but this one is a different interface, so look at it, whereby food, pets, clothing, garden, and some other things, then if you come to GG, also the same thing, you can see this website is more like everything, look at it, the same thing, post and add also, you can also have an account, so this is what I'll be teaching you on how to do today. So the first thing we're going to do is to download the WAM server because you know we are going, doing it locally so you just type download WAM server. So in Google search it's going to bring you the one for Windows 10, 8.18, .8, whichever system you are using. So I'm just going to type um, download WAM. So from source forge, I'm going to click it. You can, whichever one is still going to bring you the same one server. So you're going to click this download that you are seeing over here. Look at this download here. That it's over here. You're gonna click it and it's gonna download directly into your system. But I'm not gonna click it because I already have it on my system. And you can see it here. This is it on my system. This is a raw file on my system. So after downloading it, you are gonna have this on your system. So the other one we are gonna download is the OS class script we are gonna to use to create the website that looks like OLX. So you're going to just write download download OS class scripts so when you download the way you click it then you can see it's os class free scripts downloaded whichever one you want still want to click you click it and it's going to take you to the download to the downloading page we are going to have the scripts to download to use Yep, my internet is very 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 slow so it's gonna bear with me that's the reason why I'm doing this offline aha uh -huh. so what we're gonna do over here you can see that on the website this is the hosting plan so you don't need to be scared this is the hosting plan whichever one is gonna benefit you, you are gonna use for your website so what we're gonna do here is just click here you don't even need to put your email except you want to be having updates about uh, the script we are going to put your you can type your email over here but i'm just going to click only download here and when you click this download it's going to download directly into your system but i'm not going to download into my system because i already have the script in my system and when you click this download over here you're going to see it on your system and this is the script i'm having over here so you are going to have it over here so after having those two after having those two what we are going to do right now is to extract the sorry what we're going to do right now is to install this one server you double click the one server normal installation of a system when you're installing the system next accept uh, next and you just install it i'm not going to install it again because i already have it installed in my system so i don't want to go too far because of the video i don't want the video to be too long so people can watch and download it for better understanding so after installing it you're going to have this I'm gonna have this on my on your system. This with an arrow with the administration sign here. Although this is the raw file and this the downloaded one already. So when you have downloaded it, what you are gonna do is to click this. Yeah, for it to come out. And watch this red sign over here. You will look at this red sign; it's gonna to turn to green. You can see it now. This is the one server that makes you run a website on your on your computer without going to the internet. Now we already have the one server. What do we need right now? We need to install this script. This script that is here, we need to install it into the WAMP server for it to to work. And if I go to my folder, just follow me exactly step by step. I am going through this tutorial. Then you come and find in your local, you come and find WAMP. And in this WAMP, you come to this www w dot. This www dot is the particular file where we are going to put extract the os class into so what we'll do here there are two ways is either you open it you copy it or you extract to your winra but i'm going to use my winra and extract it just look at it, me 
But on the one I'm going to see extract files. So in my computer, I'll go to my local disk. From my local disk, I look for my WAMP. And in my WAMP, I look for www. And you click OK. Yeah, you can see it's installing. Yeah, interesting. That's very interesting. And when you come to your to your Opera or whichever browser you're using, Mozilla or your Google, you just type localhost. Localhost. Yeah. Because right now you can see o OS class cannot be installed right now. See, it's error. So what we're going to do first of all is go to open another tab. I click local host ph me my admin sorry i already have this because i have, i use i make use of them very well phc look at local host slash php my admin just click it now this is what we are going to use to create a database this is what i'm going to use to create a database you can look at you can see it over here database although these ones are mostly known by uh, developers but it doesn't really matter even if you don't know code so the database i'm going to open the database um what am i going to put let me put database i'm going to put the database at name data base class so please don't forget this data this name because we're going to use it also database class you create it wow it has been created so you come over here again and you click install please don't forget the name i told you database class so whichever name you are going to use you make sure you do not forget it so you make sure all these things are marked correctly then you just type the run in, run the install then right over here we are going to insert the database name that's the database name that we created over here remember database class that was the name so we'll come over here and insert database class over here and the username is root is by default so you don't need to change it no matter what so then you click on next Uh, yeah you can now over here we now have the admin then you can just change it just leave it as admin but when you are creating your site you don't need to use admin you have to use a unique name that someone cannot guess and your password then we'll just put one two three four five as our password then web title then just say online stores online market rather let's just use online okay online classified online classified then he may they just use um is at yeah at gmail.com and then we click next just then over here now we can now see it says username is admin and the password is one two three four five then you click finish and go to admin then you will now see what our website is going to look like Yeah, wow. So this is the dashboard. This is the back end of an OL, OLX website. Everything. Those kind of market split. This is the way the back end is. Uh, we can now close this database because we don't need it anymore. So let us just check the front end. Um, localhost because we are working on the computer. Localhost. Just click the localhost. And you see what we have right now. So everything has been pre-installed for us. Well, just look at it. Wow. So this is the front end of the website. We've not started working on it, but this is just the front end of the website. So you can see that this website looks more like that of the OLX. So if you come to OLX again, you see that you have advertisement here of what the sellers, what, what people want to sell. Look at it over here. So if you come to this our website, you see that by the time we start posting adverts here, they will all fall under this latest listing and you start seeing pictures of what people want to sell. The, um, the under the categories so I would like you guys to do what I've just done then when I come back then I will, they will continue changing the teams and posting adverts so thank you very much you are all welcome